Venezuela's President Nicolas Maduro makes historic visit to Grenada. President Maduro is traveling here on his way from St. Lucia and it's the last of a series of country engagements that he has done in the region in the last few days. This story and more in The National Report. With the National Report, I am Rikisha St. Louis. The President of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela, Nicolas Maduro, is due to pay an official visit to Grenada on Saturday, October 17th. President Maduro is scheduled to arrive around mid-afternoon following a visit to St. Lucia. He will be given a red carpet welcome that includes a guard of honor on his arrival at the Morris Bishop International Airport by government officials. Keisha Grant is the Prime Minister's Press Secretary. President Nicolas Maduro of the um, Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela is scheduled to be in Grenada tomorrow afternoon. That's Saturday the 17th. Now, of course, as of this moment, it's all tentative. Um, President Maduro is traveling here on his way from St. Lucia, and it's the last of a series of country engagements that he has done in the region in the last few days. So we're expecting him, um, as of now, it's scheduled for somewhere mid-afternoon. I can't give an exact time, but we have heard somewhere between 2, 3. Um, we know for sure if he does, once he gets here, he will be engaged in a bilateral meeting with the Prime Minister, um, Dr. Keith Mitchell, and then he will do a public engagement. So we have already um, publicized the event. We have invited people from around the country, uh, representative, representative sorry, of different sectors, sectors of the population. President Maduro's visit climaxes with an official ceremony at the Petrocarib plant at Queen's Park from approximately 4 p.m. on Saturday. The event will be carried live on national television. The Ministry of Health has begun taking steps to improve the safekeeping of vital patients' information. Kevin Fedrick reports. The Ministry of Health is moving full speed ahead with the computerization of patients' medical records. The change process, which is expected to safeguard and improve access, prevent loss or damage of vital patient information, reduce costs, and improve patient services, has begun at the Medical Records Department of the General Hospital. The Ministry's Information Technology Unit and the staff of the Medical Records Department are leading the process, which health officials say is timely and necessary as patients' information is extremely important. The Ministry is confident that such a move has several long-term benefits to both patients and staff. During the period 2011 to 2012, there was much talk about wanting to digitize that sensitive information, but no serious efforts were put into action. For the National Report, I am Kevin Frederick. This is the National Report. We will be back after the break. He is Grenada's longest serving Prime Minister, the country's longest serving parliamentarian. And on Saturday, October 24th, at Patrick Adams Hall, SGU, a book is being launched in his honor. Words in Service captures a compilation of speeches by Dr. Keith Claudius Mitchell, compiled by Ronald Papi Charles. Addressing the audience as well on this auspicious occasion will be Prime Minister Mitchell himself and Dr. Charles Modica, Chancellor of SGU. Four TA Marishou Community College students left for China on Monday to observe and participate in the International Chinese Language Bridge and Culture Competition. Janel Hamlet has the details. The students won the opportunity after placing first, second, third, and fourth in a Chinese language competition at the college earlier this year. GIS caught up with the students and the instructor on Monday as they prepare to begin their trip. I'm really excited that I'm going to China, but I'm a little bit nervous knowing that I have to participate among several different countries. I have confidence, but I'm just a little nervous, but I'm excited. The experience, I feel, will be great. It's going to be a great exposure for all of us. The experience, I'm looking forward for the experience there. And I'm quite excited and nervous at the same time. The competition involves singing, dramatizing, and delivering a speech all in Chinese. Which Chinese language lecturer, Miss Lee, says the students, after two and a half months of training, are able to handle. I think this is a good beginning. Uh, for the uh, Chinese uh, learning and the teaching here in Grenada and also uh, uh, I think they uh, 
to, to prepare uh, the competition in China, uh, they have uh, made a lot of uh, efforts. The three-week trip is funded by the Chinese embassy in Grenada and the headquarters of Confucius Institute in China. For the National Report, I am Janelle Hamlet. And that's the National Report. I am Rakesha St. Louis.